since our factory is so nice, what, what could we possibly want? Well, blue circuitry. That is one of the things that we do not have a stable and sufficient supply of. So today, yes, that is what we'll be making. Last time we looked into it. Last time we looked into the uh, railroads ever so slightly. We created a base system with like some stations. And now at the other end we have iron, coal and I believe copper. There was copper down there that might be... Uh, uh, okay, maybe not. The plan, was, the plan is essentially just to build a blue circuit factory closer to the base materials. And here unfortunately the copper is a bit too far away and a bit too close to the dangers. So let's first of all turn off pollution. I don't think that matters to us anymore. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. And we're also just going to add a... Well, whatever this thing is called, just in case. <laughs> uh oh. And something a bit unexpected and a bit problematic has uh, uh, happened. Let's see. Fuck. Um. Anyway, start by building in those rails. And then let's see if we can fit in these. I think we're close to running out of tracks. But in that case, I'm just going to plan out the entire road and then well, first of all, clear up all the bugs that for some reason have started to infest the very area that I wish to use. So do we know we have some tracks left, it's just charging. That's the issue right now. Yeah. So up here we'll be mining coal, probably having the refinement plant somewhere by the by the uh, by the water. We'll also use that coal to make plastic and set all the no still more tracks. It's just takes for fucking ever to charge this thing. Oh. Not entirely certain how I'll be doing the station, but essentially it'll be just trying me out there and the back in. So now I'm going to take that one back and place it in my own suit before the war. And that means uh, limiting all the... Wait, what? Okay, that's probably just because it's still within the range and they wouldn't want to settle there. We head over here. Someplace. Where did that guy go? He's just standing there. Menacingly. <laughs> Anyways, I had the... It's... Yes, it's covered by... Everything, so I'll just completely copy it and just change direction of the belt. Oh, so do I have enough lip explosives? Yes. And I need to make, is it one, two, three, four? Four boilers, but that requires stone, which I might not have. There we go. 
Luckily, there exists a pre-ranged stone some places. So even if I don't think I have access to any, I can find it. Anyways, this would... Should... Power everything I need in this part. Or give it, uh, give it a thing. I'm bad at speaking. Anyways. Next up, we need... We have made... We're making plastic and sulfuric acid. Now we just need... The other things, which is iron and copper. This is likely a enormous source, so we should get enough. And I'm going to start by making three rows, then copy the whole shebang over to the iron. Unfortunately, I am running low on resources, so I'm going to have to take a trip back soon. Yeah, I have no belts left. Because I don't need any of this. Maybe I need more delivery robots. This isn't... Yeah, this is probably close enough, I guess, but we're not hurt having more. Right, let's see. They are. They have not started to drain the robot just yet. Um, let's see then. We need more belts. Probably more. Uh, we aren't. We should at least have 10 stacks. These guys suck. I'm going to do this because I feel like it. I want this... I essentially I want this patch to be emptied completely. So I'm just going to speed it along. Oh, and barrels are actually being made, that's right. I think about 25 five barrels of heavy ore should be enough for a kickstart. So let's see, the easiest place to just pick it up without having to make lasting changes is probably back at the system. And though I say lasting stage changes, I am probably just going to have it be there for on a permanent basis. Along the path of glory and victory. I have a feeling I'm slightly low, slightly just not enough, I mean, for hills for this section. Yes, that's quite possible. But that means there it's not going to be much I'm missing for next time. Let's see? in the, um, the belts because that is the next part of this oh where is this piece again then here we go whack these two together and then set up a power line here Here I am going to insert beacons, modules and such. Is that all the beacons? Yeah, it was. Wow, well, good thing they spent some down here where I didn't really intend for them to. Here we will be having some in here. Oh, and I ran out of... Well, maybe I shouldn't have been such a fool and actually used underground belts. There's no point in wasting all of my regular belts when I do have underground belts. And well, what we can clearly see is this is probably not enough just yet. 
but I just need a base system to pick off everything. I can wait with the delivery of hell here. As this is this, yes. There we go. Now the now it's hooked up, so it will deliver petroleum and let's kick it off, shall we? Now they just need steam, which is not being delivered because I have not hooked this up to water yet. Luckily the water part is probably the easiest. I'll hook them up about top and bottom, just so we are sure we get enough water in though that should not be an issue. Great, uh, let's just check over everything I built, whether I can just replace some of it with underground belts to save on resources. There we go. I'm also not going to keep these, this coal I'm picking up and such in my inventory, I'm going to spend it uh, I think where it should be spent. And yeah, just replacing this is already giving me plenty of belts. Ah, no. And here, that should deliver the iron. Now it's just to make sure the two are connected electrically. And to the grid. Then we take the deliver, the produced iron. Oh, like this, probably. This is probably a part where I'll have to later check that it isn't going to mess with the rails, but that's fine for now. Oh, I'm. Oh. Luckily this guy has some underground belts. And then the river. Please stop attacking me wherever you are attacking me. The output is of course going to be here and wait. No. Never mind, I was a fool. It needed to be down here due to the spacing between these. And we add these. And fix water. I uh, need more belts. Luckily, I think I can just. Grab a couple from here and then rid myself. Okay, now it's just infinite on my resource left, which is good because that's enemies' reachers I probably won't bother do. Then finally hook all of this up to power as well as output. This should give me enough sulfuric acid to make all the blue circuitry. Next part is just going to be making the or designing the blue circuitry factory. On this central track, there's going of oh, what? We have one track of red circuit of green circuitry and one track of red circuitry. Uh, Let's see here. It will be the same on both sides. On both sides. This on this other side. Although direction is going to be the same. And then just the when dumping, it's probably going to dump. 
into this. And then it's just going to be a question of which way I want the time product to go, but that's not the that's not the question right now to ask. Anyways, I need more resources, so let's quickly head back. There we go. Now we just set all of these to Oh hang on. Okay, there might not be room for any uh, beacons in the middle. I just remembered I actually do need these guys to get sulfuric acid. And actually, if I do a. If I restructure this, it's actually possible. Hang on. There we go. Now there's nothing in the middle. And then we can just insert the. Oh, did I have an operate uh, pipes? Okay, I have pipes here. Now I can just have the sulfuric acid be added from this end. With that one again being here, we allow for the power cables to actually have room. That is here, yes. Oh. Actually, this yeah, this uh, works good. Okay, uh, what parts of this? Okay, the iron supply is whack. The output blue circuitry. Then I'll go here. Oh, oh, no, not entirely possible. Then here. We will here get a system that delivers blue circuitry into storage, which will then be delivered onto a tray and Back into the factory. That's at least the plan. Let's see. Um, in order to get the belts passed properly, while still having the machines here, it's impossible. I'm going to have to somehow get it around. Uh, so we we assume that this is the final length of this one. I'll make more if necessary, but I doubt it's going to be. Then I'll just... Like this. Here. Find the second, third, and... I guess it's fourth carriage, really. And fill them with these. No, actually. They're going to be... Uh, active provider chests. Because I like giving my <laughs> my tiny robots a job. So, uh, do I have any of those robots? No. Luckily, I am making them, so we'll just grab a handful whilst we whilst, whilst we're here. There we go. Now we're hopefully going to be filling that the screen circuitry and red circuitry. Hopefully, better. This is going to help with increased production of blue circuitry. I was going to mean that everything is fucked. We'll see how it goes. Anyways, uh, yep, yeah, I saw that there was suddenly a red circle over there. These guys are trying to establish a base, but failing because the the artillery is unloading into them. However, I fear that is ex exerting all its ammunition. Which is kinda bad. I can't really have that be the case. So yeah, you needed to die, guys. Yes, from this bit. 
How the fuck? No, 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 wait, I got that. That was not the plan. Let's see here. There we go. Okay, so the main issue I can see now is that this one is firing, this one is out of ammunition. Just to evaporate this one. There we go. Who knows where they will go to attack to vent their anger now. With sudden uh, spawn spawners appearing, I do not feel safe having them live. Never mind, I can't be bothered to go over there. <laughs> Right, back up north. Oh, do I actually have that one again? Uh, let's see here, that's a straight boat. Don't remember why I made that one. No. I don't. Uh, at some time, I'm, at some point I made like a... Automatic wall blueprint that just... Or well, a, blue, a book that contain different wall... Different blueprints for different wall sections. So that I could make a wall even if there wasn't just a straight or if there were certain extra dangers I'd assume I'd meet. So it had some had flamethrowers, most had regular laser turrets. And well, of course a major part in the way I did it back then, there was a part that had a brain rail or foil rails going through it. So that I would be able to make a train line. Okay, so let's see. I don't have too many regular rockets on me. I can of course just grab a bunch more. But then again, where's the fun in that? I think it's about time we went on a profit adventure. Using all the atomic bombs we have left. And with no saves coming, so if I somehow blow up the Spider-Tron, uh, well, shit, I've lost a ton of resources. So, uh, let's see, I believe it's space to fire the nukes. I will not test out on those, but this can. Yes, space. We got to fall. This is it, the beginning of the end of these guys. And Kabooey. Kabooey. It's Roshan. And Ian, what Oh, and one behind me. following me. But on the way, we can um, do a little more blasting. I could also look for cut-up points, but nah. At this point, I don't need it. We do not need expand to expand right now. We just need to destroy it. Jeez. No, no, okay, burning trimming is a bad idea. Okay. Yeah, wait too many. Oh boy. Open the path back. Lord have mercy on my soul. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
are not going to the call upon this. <laughs> not financially and not economically. I guess. Bye guys. Yes. I think that's enough down here, let's... Uh, yeah. Where is now? Actually, let's just... Grab... Go home, grab more resources and just check. Make sure the... Or make the blue circuit factory actually work properly again. Death has come for you. Just wait and accept it. Okay, I am out of nuclear missiles. And it's time for a regular rocket barrage. is fine. That's not reaching anywhere dangerous currently. I do not advise you head into a camp without paying attention, but sometimes it's fine. But only sometimes, so be careful. Also, I'm going to take go home in style, so first of all, I'm just going to plan the pathing the guy down here and then and what did I do? Oh I exit. Let's head to the main station. I forgot oh, do not head out. <laughs> choo choo What's the speed? Oh it's reaching 300 kilometers an hour. Uh, that's oh that's that's quite good actually. If only we had those kind of trains here in Norway. Oh lord, I... They are not that quick. Unfortunately. At least not one I takes, because it goes through all those hills. Well, and how are things going down here? Are we producing... I don't think we're producing excess. Wait, are we? Oh my, we are. We are producing an incredible excess of uh, uh, uranium 235. And we've almost drained the entire vein. No. There is still about 300,000 left. Never mind. Still plenty to go. This is what we wanted to build. As the final send off to this factory. So, yeah. For every other resource that I would need, I could just set up a simple system like this. And then we would never need any base resources again. And all, or well, we would never need any intermediate resources again. Could all just have it uh, made externally, sent to back to the factory, and then produced into whatever we need. But that is also the point where, without mods, it's no longer that interesting, so... Yes, this has been the final stream of this death world. I might I'll probably return to Factorio. Okay, I shouldn't say probably, I might return to Factorio at some point. Though, most likely not alone, because it's a, it is a lot better when you're multiple people. Thanks for watching this Factorio playthrough. We have... I hope you've learned something if you followed along. And, and well... Until the next... Until the next time. <laughs>